the traditional transition right of the late Akuuka Dr. Shikaru Angyuma Saibi Kuvion II, who joined his ancestors in October last year, began with a procession from the Akuka Palace to Puje, a shrine of the Jukun people. Thousands of mourners and sympathizers joined the procession at the Wokari East Primary School, where they also marched to Puje, venue of the transitional right. At the Puje Shrine located in the forest, both Jukun men and women all sat on the ground in a colorful way and manner based on the Jukun culture. At the forest, there was no speech presentation, no cultural dances or performances, no tribute presentations, no canopy for guests, no music and no casket as all guests and dignitaries stood till the deceased monarch emerged on the back of a horse with his bearer en route to Nando, a place believed to be his final resting destination, where he will be with his forefathers. <laughs> The rich Jukun cultural heritage was brought to bear at the program. Among the dignitaries at Puje were the representatives of Governor Derry Dixon Ishaku, Barista Haruna Estefanos Bwana, the Chief of Staff Government House Jalingo, Senator Emmanuel Boacha, Honorable Danji SS and Honorable Rimam Shaolu, both of the National Assembly of Abuja, Bonkom Jos, and several traditional rulers and politicians from across Nigeria. Speaking an interview with journalists at the venue of the transitional right, the representative of Governor Derry Dixon Ishaku, who is also the Chief of Staff Government House Jalingo, Barista Haruna Estefanos Gwana, said the contribution of the monarch to peace and stability of the Kororofai Kingdom can never be forgotten. And uh, as a father, as a traditional father, he was one man of peace. He was always there to make sure that there is a peace not only within the uh, Jokon Kingdom, uh, but within Taraba State and uh, beyond Taraba State. The State Commissioner for Information and Reorientation, Barista Danjuma Adamu, and other dignitaries who granted audience to TV Taraba News spoke on the transitional right. Everything about Jukun is done in secret. As you can see, people are gathered. It, it is not like the usual barrier where you see grave and so on. It was a We will miss him dearly as well. Any person who is a descendant of Korodofa Kingdom, if you pray for the next Akuka to be as a peace loving as the late Baba Dr. Shekarangi Masaibi, Kufion II. He has done so many things that we have not had from him. But the little one we have got, uh, uh, we have taken from him, we will use it to, to, to tell the ones behind us. Even this part is father is still smiling, we're just smiling outside the right our hearts when we are going to pass. Uh, the crowd tells you about the kind of person our father has joined that has joined his ancestors. We should have shown you the kind of person he is. He was a man of peace. This is Puji. And from here he is now going to be late. He's now going to proceed to Nando. Nando is where he's going to join his ancestors. Such traditional rites took place last about 45 years ago, and a lot of people witnessed this historic event for the very first time. And the rite can best be described as another celebration of history in the Kororofai Kingdom. Hassan Garba, TV Taraba News. <laughs>
As the youth president of yes, this community, yes, how do you feel about this? It's a very historic thing. We are very happy, as you can see, the people here are very happy to be letting me host. There's going to be a transition and another phase of the black. That's why we are. Everybody is happy. You can see with this in our traditional okay. Italian. Okay. So is what there any pictures the that uh, uh, Papa left behind word of evolution? He is always a father and he has laid a very good foundation which is going to break beyond to his ancestor to go and return with another different face of leadership for the entire Japanese. What do the youth expect from this? What lesson do you want the youth to learn? Uh, this has been a historic event. Although, like I said, for 45 years ago, he has been in rulership. So, youth has never experienced this kind of life from age 60. Now, you wouldn't know anything about this, but this has been, we teach a lot of lessons to people. They have never seen, even myself, I have never witnessed this. So, this is a great experience and it's life enriching experience. So, I think we will engage and we want to follow it line by line so that the ones that are coming up can now have what they will take from us as a young man. Thank you very much. Thank you very much.
Your name? My name is Bayo Sabo. 
some of his side. So what will you say on the transition of uh, the great hero in history of Juku? We, we, first and foremost, I must uh, appreciate this date. Uh, this is the day we've been waiting to say his demise. And I thank God and my mom, those that are alive today. And, uh, this is the procession from PJ and the process to uh, Nando, where the, uh, the Pankya will take place. Uh, our late hero has been uh, a very important person to us, not only the Jukun Kukari, but the Korofa in time. Uh, every sons and daughters of Korofa uh, are here today to say a uh, farewell to our hero. Thank you very much for speaking with us. Thank you so much. Definitely. For the sake of this documentary, and those that might be watching you for the first time, you can't introduce it. I'm by name Prince Nui Abadila Bokka. Prince, what will you say about the demise of a great monarch this year in Paranapa? What will you say? Uh, one of the things we have missed is the strong voice, the voice of unity. Icon of peace. This is what is what all of our pain in the state, not only in the state, in the country at large. And that is what we are going to miss. And we are praying that God will continue to comfort us and also send us another tavern. <laughs>
Okay.